I am interested in artificial intelligence. And in the last days, I have been writing my humble artificial neural network library. I tested the code on the problem of space classification, and I produced some material that I find both beautiful and enlightening, so I decided to share it with you. For now, I have written code to train an artificial neural network using different activation functions and two different paradigms, supervised learning and reinforcement learning. To train in the supervised learning paradigm, I used the well-known backpropagation algorithm with the mean square error as the loss function and some other detail that I mentioned in the video description. On the other hand, of all the algorithms used in the reinforcement learning paradigm, I personally find the one known as policy gradient particularly attractive due to its simplicity as well as the rigor in its derivation. But after testing and looking at the results, I still find even more appealing the algorithm that results from adding an entropic term to the reward function used in policy gradient. You will see it soon. In this video, I will show you the result of applying the three approaches mentioned before to three different classification problems. The labeling of three circles, the labeling of three spirals, and the classification of digits using the MNIST database. Now I'm going to stop talking so you can enjoy the training process. Let me interrupt here for a minute. You have probably noticed the poor performance when training with Policy Gradient. Why is this happening? To answer that question, let's first recall how we compute the Policy Gradient. We approximate the gradient using a sample of trajectories generated with the policy itself. What is happening in our trainings is that the policy reaches a point where some trajectories are so unlikely that they are rarely sampled, reducing what we call exploration and leading to the slow underperforming training we just saw. Entropy regularization is what I consider an awesome way to overcome this problem. Entropy is defined as the expected value of the information carried by a random variable. But for the problem at hand, the main thing to know is that the entropy is maximum when all the outcomes of a random variable occur with the same probability. Then, by adding the entropic term in the reward function, we are penalizing policies that produce trajectories that are too likely or, contrarily, too improbable. And that increases exploration and produces the results that you are about to see.
Now, for the digit classification problem, I'm going to place the results of each approach next to each other, so that we can compare. Since we cannot see how the space classification evolves in the problem of labeling digits, I have prepared something extra. I trained two neural networks for longer, and now I'm going to show you how they actually perform.
Okay, that's all I have for now. Thank you for watching.